Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Welcome to another video. I recently returned from an amazing gaming con, the Houston Arcade Expo. It was November 11th through the 13th, and I thought nothing could beat last year's Houston show because I got to meet and hang out with Sam Jones, aka Flash Gordon. Uh, from the 1980 film, one of my favorite movies. This year was even better and I had an even more fun time. It was just amazing. Now the reason for this is, so the Houston Arcade Expo in general is just an amazing show. It's a super fun, it's basically a three day party. I call it the Woodstock of retro gaming festivals because it is just, it keeps crazy hours. It goes on late into the night on Friday and Saturday night. There's a lot of uh, live music, a lot of drinking goes on, a lot of partying goes on. Uh, it's, it just basically almost runs around the clock. And there's a great swap meet on Saturday morning, and there's uh, a lot of games for sale, ton of pinball machines and arcade games set on free play, and everybody's just got a good vibe. There's confetti and strobe lights and you know glow sticks, glow lightsabers, and just people are, living it up like it's New Year's Eve or something, and it's awesome. And this is credit to Keith Christensen, who runs the show, and it's he hosts it the weekend of his birthday uh, each year, and it's basically a three-day long party. Well, what made this year's show even better than last year's amazing convention was the special guests, the two main special guests. Lance Guest, fittingly enough, Guest, star of, Hall <laughs> sorry for the bad joke, star of Halloween 2, star of Jaws the Revenge, and star of one of my favorite films, The Last Starfighter. Now, I'm a big Last Starfighter fan. Got the VHS, got the Blu-ray, and yes, I've got the Laserdisc. I should have got these signed. I should have taken them with me. Oh well, I did get autographs, but I'll go over that in a minute. I'm gonna show you what autograph I got at this show. Uh, but this was amazing. Lance Guest was super cool. And also on board was Catherine Mary Stewart. Now, I'm gonna show you guys her playing Tempest here later in this video, because in a movie called The Night of the Comet, she was an expert on the arcade classic Tempest, and she actually got to play the game for the first time at this show. That's right, in the movie, she didn't actually play the game. It was sort of a fake out, Hollywood magic. But Catherine Mary Stewart was there. I was absolutely floored that Catherine Mary Stewart and Lance Guest were gonna be guests at this show. There were sort of late additions. Uh, Keith had reached out to me a few months prior to be a guest, and I didn't know they were gonna be here at this point, but I always loved doing this show, so I absolutely said yes, and I did a panel on the 40th anniversary of the ColecoVision. But it was such a great bonus to find out that these last Starfighter actors were gonna be there. Now, I knew I would get to hang out with them some and meet them a little bit because I was a guest there as well, along with Tim Kittrow, uh, the voice of NBA Jam, and Paul Nehemiah, a uh, Mortal Kombat artist, along with, these guys do a lot of other work with arcades as well uh, over the years. And these are good friends of mine. I see them at shows all the time. They're so much fun to hang out with. And we, the three of us actually got to hang out with Lance Guest and Catherine Mary Stewart over the course of the weekend because they were just super nice, super down to earth and super fun. And my son was with me as well. He helped me uh, run the booth, uh, my booth, and he also got to hang out with these cool special guests. And we had just an amazing time. And not only did we just sort of, you know, get to talk to them throughout the weekend, on Saturday night, there was a big blowout with live music. I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. That was definitely the, height of the, the highlight of the show, partying with Lance Guest and Catherine Mary Stewart. That was so much fun. But we did arrive uh, Friday morning at 10.30. That means we left the house at 5.30 Friday morning. I took the day off and we arrived around 10.30 and started setting up the booth. Around noon when the show opened, we met the guests, uh, Catherine Mary Stewart and Lance Guest. As I've said, they were very friendly, very down to earth, all smiles, and I sort of told them who I was and why I was there. And Paul and Tim met them as well, and it was just really cool. The five of us just sort of vibed, along with my son, Ryan, as well. It was a really cool group. Throughout the day, we signed autographs for fans. We uh, uh, posed for photos and did all that kind of stuff. Right before the show started, uh, the five of us lined up there. I got a 
wanted to make sure to get uh, a photo of us because, you know, just before things got crazy, before, you know, lines formed at the uh, last Starfighter uh, table there, I knew there were gonna be a lot of people wanting their photos, wanting their autographs. And just before things got too busy, I wanted to get a good photo and I did. They were very uh, cordial, very amenable to that. I thought that was awesome, got a great photo. So that was cool, awesome. And then Friday night, there was a band there called Radio Duran, a Duran Duran tribute act. They were very good. I loved that. That was a lot of fun. And uh, so very cool. Stayed up kind of late, playing games. After my booth shuts down is, you know, I love meeting readers. I love signing autographs. I love selling books. All this is great. Talking retro gaming with people that go, come up that either enjoy my channel or that have read my books or, or have no idea who I am. All good. Love talking retro gaming. Tons of fun, but at the Houston Arcade Expo in particular, the real fun happens after uh, you shut your booth down, because that's, you know, you can watch live music, play a ton of pinball machines, including this really cool weird Al Yankovic machine that I played that has a animated table, first game I ever played like that. You know, not just the back glass or any video screen or anything, the table was actually animated. That was amazing. I was really disappointed. They had dropped Baby Pac-Man last year, so it was wobbly, so it didn't work. That was a real bummer, but I got to play the new James Bond machine, a bunch of other games, it was great. So Friday night was a lot of fun. Uh, Lance Guest and Catherine Mary Stewart, I, I just assume they perhaps went up to their uh, respective rooms or whatever. They were, uh, I did see them having a glass of wine together or whatever. So they were just sort of doing their own thing. Saturday was a great day, uh, busy convention, uh, good turnout and everything. And Saturday morning, the swap meet, I didn't find, last year I found a pair of Spock ears still near in the, new in the package from the 70s for just five bucks. Uh, I found some Kiss albums and some Hot Wheels and some cool stuff to resell. Uh, but this year's swap meet, it was still fun. Very cold, but I didn't find anything. But it's still always cool to check out the swap meet on Saturday morning. It's an annual tradition at the Houston Arcade Expo. It was a great day. Talked more with the, the special guests and everything. My buddy G. Grayson. Uh, G to the next level, as you guys know him on YouTube, and Tyler Esposito, My Retro Life. It was great seeing them as well. They were guests at the show. and But Saturday night was super special. So my son and I were over playing some pinball games, you know, just different pinball machines. And here's Walk Like an Egyptian uh, coming from the, the stage on the other side of the arcade. Now he knows I'm a huge Bengals fan, so he mentioned it to me. I, I hadn't heard it because I was, I don't know, I was concentrating on the pinball machine noise or my old man hearing or whatever, I don't know the case. But he heard it and so we went over there and checked it out. And we joined uh, Catherine Mary Stewart, Lance Guest, and Tim Kittrow and Paul Nehemiah around the side of the stage. Cause like, uh, hey, what's up guys, you know, just, checking out the music, and we ended up just kind of hanging out on the side of the stage most of the rest of the night as the band played. And it was awesome. We stayed out till almost two in the morning, uh, rocking out to this band and having drinks and everything. And at one point, Lance Guest, or actually a couple of times, Lance Guest got up on the stage and uh, with a guitar in hand, and he cranked out some great tunes. The guy is an excellent guitarist. He's got soul. He played really well. He does this. I'd heard he was a musician, and he actually played Johnny Cash in a musical on Broadway. Uh, but the guy's got chops. I mean, he, he, he was excellent, and it was so much fun uh, watching him and seeing Catherine Mary Stewart dance to the music and talking to her and hanging out and talking to Lance. Super nice people, some of the most down-to-earth celebrities uh, I've ever met. I've had an incredible opportunity over the years uh, through my uh, work as a journalist. I was a full-time journalist for over 20 years, and I also uh, worked at Walden Books, and one of my jobs at Walden Books was sort of facilitating celebrity autographings. So I've met and interviewed a lot of amazing um, celebrities. But I have to tell you, Lance Guest and Catherine Mary Stewart were two of the coolest, most down-to-earth, friendliest celebrities I've ever had, uh, you know, the uh, awesome experience to be around. Just very cool, they were awesome. And Catherine Mary Stewart, she got up on stage as well and played some guitar, and they were both just super into the music 
and they were great with fans. They met with fans all weekend and took a ton of photos and signed a ton of autographs. They were amazing, and hey, I was just happy to be there. It was so cool, and just I was honored to be a guest there, and thank you so much, Keith Christensen, for putting on an amazing show, a three-day weekend party. As always, I've done this show for, that's probably about the sixth or seventh time I've actually been there as a guest, and it's just so much fun every time. I don't get enough sleep, and I might drink a little bit too much. Uh, Maybe a little bit too much, but nothing too out of hand. Had an amazing time. Now Sunday, something really cool happened. Sunday's show was just 10 to two. And so it's a little sleepier, it's a little slower pace. You know, you guys know how convention Sundays are. Everybody's tired, especially if there's been a lot of late night partying and stuff going on. So uh, yeah, it was just kind of a sleepy day, but you know, we got it more chance just to hang out with the guests and talk, sold some more stuff, uh, met some more readers and fans of my YouTube channel, always good all the time, met some new friends, amazing stuff. Well, when maybe there was about 30 minutes left in the show, Catherine Mary Stewart came over to my booth, which was really cool. Like I said, both guests, everybody was just really nice at the show. It was an amazing experience, but Lance Guest in particular and Catherine Mary Stewart, you know, these big shot you know, they're big fish in a small pond, basically. I mean, we're not talking Bogey and Hepburn here. You know, we're, we're not talking household names, but The Last Starfighter means a lot to a lot of people that are in the retro gaming community. And these cult films like Halloween 2 and The Night of the Comet, you know, and Jaws of Revenge, these B movies and The Last Starfighter in particular, uh, you know, it's basically Star Wars type story, but with a video game theme. A lot of us love that film. And it was just such a cool experience to, to hang out with these, uh, just, you know, people that we grew up watching. And uh, she came over to my booth and she said, hey, I wanna get another picture with you. And I said, really? Okay, cool. And she said she wanted to give me a signed photo of herself. And she goes, no, I don't wanna force it on you. And I'm like, are you kidding? I would love to have one. That would be so amazingly awesome. And so, yeah, so we walked over there and we got another picture together and she gave me this, which is so freaking amazing. She said I could pick any picture off of her table. And it was a difficult choice between The Last Starfighter and this picture from Night of the Comet, but I just love this. I love that she's looking like a badass here and she was so amazing. Wrote some really nice stuff there and Wow, what a weekend, it's so cool. You know, they say never meet your childhood heroes, but hey, sometimes it works out. Sometimes they're amazing and super nice and super cool. Now, I have no idea who next year's guests are gonna be at the Houston Arcade Expo. I've already been told, I've, I've already been invited back, so that's awesome. I am very excited about that, but I'm not sure who the celebrity guests will be. I mean, Flash Gordon last year, Last Starfighter this year, amazing. I cannot wait to see what's in store for next year's Houston Arcade Expo. All right, guys, I, as I promised, I did a little video on Catherine Mary Stewart playing Tempest, which she supposedly did, at least when you're watching the movie, not of the comment, she's this awesome Tempest player, but she had never actually played it before. That was one interesting thing I found out during the course of the show. Lance Guest and Catherine Mary Stewart, neither one of them were gamers at all. Uh, someone asked Lance what his favorite arcade game was and he had no answer because he's, neither one of them were, I, I'm not sure they'd ever played a video game at all. Maybe they did at one point, but neither one of them knew much or really said anything about, you know, a couple people throughout the weekend, you know, we're asking them about gaming and stuff and, and I talked to them about that and they weren't gamers at all. And so this is the very first time that Catherine Mary Stewart Played Tempest, she was a great sport at it. She might have played it a couple of times before uh, the video I'm gonna show you, but this weekend was the first time she had played the game. She was a cool sport about it, and she actually got pretty decent at the game. She played it a few times and said it was a lot of fun. So maybe Catherine Mary Stewart, maybe she's a gamer now. We shall see. Anyway, I talked to her and Lance, and I said, I hope to see you at another convention sometime in the future, because they do Comic-Cons as well, and I do Comic-Cons, and maybe I'll see them there at another gaming show. I hope so, because they were super fun to hang out with and very friendly. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Here's Catherine Mary Stewart playing Tempest, and I'll see you on their other side, just to sort of close things out.
Well, there you go, guys. Catherine Marie Stewart playing her some Tempest. Very cool, an amazing weekend at the Houston Arcade Expo, a convention that's always a blast. There's no other show quite like the Houston Arcade Expo, so follow them on Facebook uh, throughout the year and you know see what awesome guests they have in store for next year. We'll find out. All right, guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on The Last Starfighter, on Lance Guest, on Catherine Mary Stewart. Are you a fan of any of their films? Let me know. I would love to hear about it. Did any of you grow up watching Catherine Mary Stewart on Days of Our Lives? That would be really cool to hear from you guys about that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. We will talk to you in another video. Mario!